Hello, everyone. This is Grandmaster Jesse Bowen with the American Martial Arts Alliance. And I'm here today with two of my friends. And we're going to be talking about Las Vegas and the upcoming programs we're going to be doing. You know, I've, someone always asks me, says, Jesse, how are you doing? I said, better, better, and better, trying to make the world a better place. Well, I have two guys that we believe in the same thing. You know, we believe in our martial arts. Uh, life experience. We believe in making the world a better place through education. And the continual growth in the martial arts is about the continual education of how we teach in this new environment, uh, you know, the message that we deliver. And so today I have with me Grandmasters, I have Dana Abbott, Sheon Abbott, and we have uh, Grandmaster uh, Chris Natsky here with us today. Hey guys, how you doing? We're doing, doing well great. today. Doing great, Good. sir. Thanks for having us. Yeah, it's, you know, I'm, I'm so uh, thankful for you guys that, you know, for our relationships that we can put on this you know, great event, uh, you know, uh, coming up in Vegas. And also, Chris, uh, our mastermind that we're going to do. So I'm going to kick this off to you and I talking about the uh, mastermind just for a moment. And then I'm going to come back over to Xi'an. Uh, you know, of course, you know, we're talking about public speaking for martial artists. And I, I realized this weekend, uh, people are thinking about how do I just speak better uh, in my classes? No. So, no, this is about developing your outside part for what you love to do. If you love to teach, then you got to love to talk. Then, But we're also talking about how do I take my lessons from my classroom and I do, how do I take it out to the, my community? in paid speaking opportunities? How do I take it to the corporate world in paid speaking opportunities? And I know that you've been doing this for a long time and also Xi'an also, but Chris, let's talk about that for a little bit and the mastermind. Let's talk about what's gonna be happening coming up here in just a week. And then we're gonna have another part that's gonna be happening in Vegas. So let's talk about the mastermind that's coming up first. Sure. Well, what our plan is, and just really excited to collaborate with Grandmaster Jesse on this is, you know, one of the things that I've found is that speaking is one of the top ways that I actually first and foremost promoted my martial arts school and my association, but then it later on became a, a professional uh, vocation for me. So I get paid now to speak and, and really about taking all the valuable lessons that we have, that we teach through martial arts, the values that we teach. Uh, and taking them out into the world because the world really needs it. So what our plan is, is to have four distinct uh, mastermind sessions in the month of June, June 7th, 14th, 21st, and 28th, where we're going to basically pour all of our wisdom into you, all the lessons that we've learned in terms of how do you identify who to speak to? How do you put a speech together? What are the key components that go into creating a speaking business, whether you want to use it to up-level your own level of communication to build your school and or organization, or if you want to take it out and be a speaker out in the world. Well, you know, that's great because we have a lot of information. We've been blessed, and that's how this all came about, is that we want to share the blessing, you know, that, uh, you know, I spoke in December. I was uh, speaking in front of Nike uh, in Portland. You know, a couple of weeks ago, I was speaking in front of American Express, but you don't just jump in and get there. There's a whole process behind, okay, how do I get to this position to stand in front of Nike? Well, you've already ironed out all your, all your bugs. You have a platform with information uh, that uh, people at the corporate level, they want to know. Now, we're not talking about doing self-defense or doing karate moves. We're not talking about any of those things. Because if the mar if that's all the martial arts has to offer us, then I think we're pretty limited, especially from the instructor point. That's the reason why the continual education is so important in everything that we actually do. So we're really talking about opening up another door in your martial arts program that you can bring in five to six figure income into your existing program. If you've got a, a very successful program, then it's easy for you to be able to add your personal speaking or personal coaching into your program or inside of your martial arts program and on the outside of the martial arts program. 
Yeah. And you know, what's so interesting is we, by nature, I think as martial arts instructors, are speakers, right? That's what we do. We, we influence our students. We teach our students through speaking. So we're effective communicators. And there are some of those things we can take from our martial arts experience into the corporate world and outside. And then there are some things we need to tweak a little bit, right? Because there are some little different ways that our messages will land relative to the audiences that we're, we're speaking to. So what our intention is, is to kind of give you both of those worlds so that you can take the speaking experience you already have and the, and the prowess that you've already got, and now take it and up-level it so that you can take that out into the world and, you know, either, prom again, promote and grow your school and organization or develop a speaking business on your own and make the world a better place. Because uh, the world, let's face it, needs our message. It certainly does. And Shion, you know, thank you again. You know, we've been having this long-time uh, friendship, relationship, and it's always good to work with your friends, you know. Yes. And Chris, you know, we did a we did a program last year together, and so we're coming back again for the second year doing a program together. And Shion, you speak all over the world, and I know you're going to be, be with us in Las Vegas. So let's just let's go into what are what are you going to be bringing? I always uh, I always really enjoy your speaking because you were a speaker for us a couple of years ago. Uh, I, we did a training program together in uh, Atlantic City. So it's always a pleasure to have the opportunity to work with you, but we work well together because you are a speaker. I mean, you're all over the place in your training programs and things like that. So tell us, what are you gonna be bringing to us in, in, uh, in Vegas this year? Well, since my speaking is all over the place, I usually keep <laughs> everyone entertained because everybody hears the same sentence, but they think about it differently. So you have to attack it in a lot of different ways, but the best way is to make sure that you have your speech energized. There are a lot of speakers out there, but some of them aren't energized and no one hears the final part of the sentence. So one of the biggest things I do is I hold the sword. It speaks for itself because everybody wants to practice or use or be associated with a samurai sword or European sword. So adding that to it, it gives me an extra couple of points there to lead the conversation a little bit more. But as far as speaking, it is the utmost importance to make sure that your students or your group know exactly what you're saying. And you don't have to make it complicated. The more you make it complicated, the more complicated they think. Keep it simple, they'll think it's simple, and then they'll ask questions later that will revolve around them personally. So you have a one-to-one -one conversation with say 200 people in the group, especially if you have 45 minutes or an hour. Mm, love that. Well, you know, I think that's a really important, you know, place for, you know, for everyone to realize is that uh, when it comes down to uh, our speaking uh, programs and again we you know we all all three of us have our own programs and uh Chris what's what's your program what is it what is it called what is my program yes sir mm -hmm. uh, that I that I have for for my speaking is called black yes, belt leadership, black belt leadership speaking and coaching okay and, and Dana what is your program uh it depends who I'm talking to <laughs> I mean your your course you have an online course yes it's called learnthesword.com because it's hard to spell samurai in samurai sports so we have it very easy learnthesword.com and then that includes everybody around the world in every country because they can spell those words easily so the simplicity of it brings in more people throughout the world because we are international speakers and we have to speak in an international manner so everybody understands it. So learnthesword.com, for example, really makes it so they don't have to double think it. And that's a very important th factor. Right. And mine is elite corporate coaching. And so we, we have our programs, but again, they didn't just start, you know, they started after years of, of information, experience, and, uh, finding what was good, what was wrong, uh, developing our voice, developing, uh, you know, our messaging. So, you know, in this year uh, program that, that we're doing, it's about building your message, giving you the foundation that you don't have to make mistakes. We've already made them 
for you. We can tell you what's not going to work and go directly to what will work. And not only are we going to be doing that, we're going to actually be giving you referrals. I get on average of five to six referrals each week of a company that's looking for someone to speak. And, you know, I'm overwhelmed with so many emails. So, you know, that's that's 20 on an average of 20 to 25 opportunities. And all I have to do is just take and put my name in, send my information in, determine whether or not it's going to be met. So there's thousands of dollars each week that I have to pass up because of my of the other things that are are so important to me, such as the event in Vegas and the publishing business and all the other things. So, but we want to develop the opportunity for you to know what we know, that you can create a five, six figure revenue by adding public speaking as another door in your school. You're looking during the daytime, you're bored. There are chamber of commerce right in your community that are looking for someone to come in and speak that they don't even know about you, uh, you know, but we will show you the way, help you develop your program that you can speak to anyone. So remember, uh, go to uh, to the link that's in this uh, in this video this that we're doing right now. Click on the link, go to the page. Yeah, I want you to register for the upcoming six week program. Our well is a four week mastermind program we have coming up. So remember. Click the link, go there. You can ask questions. You know, let us know if you have a question or uh, anything that we can do to support your success as a martial arts professional speaker. Hey, this is Jesse Bowen. Be blessed.